Well, out there to you, we've got a microeconomics practice problem from the AP micro uh, exam practices, and um, could also be a, just some people call them uh, AP microeconomics. That's the course. Okay, so this is in a very important part of the course. This is uh, unit four, which is imperfect competition or sometimes monopoly. It's got some vocabulary down here. There's a monopolist. It's a word we use in economics for a firm that has some kind of monopoly power. Uh, we've got the way to read this. We've got a downward sloping demand curve. Should be familiar with that. Then on the inside of that, we've got marginal revenue curve. So the marginal revenue curve is going to go on the inside of that demand curve. It is a function of that demand curve. Uh, and it is the derivative or partial derivative with respect to quantity of that demand curve. So that's that, that's the additional revenue we earn from selling an additional product. Um, then we've got marginal cost curve, which is I'm coloring here in red. So you can see the kind of the difference um, before you get the hang of that. And then the average total cost curve, which is gonna be right here. We're gonna color that. It, if, it might be helpful to color them until you get kind of see uh, what curve is what? Okay, so let's answer some questions here. Uh, like we might see at 50 units of output. So output is down here. That's the quantity. Output and quantity are synonyms. How much would this profit maximizing monopolist charge? So just go to 50 and then follow it up to where it hits the demand curve because that shows us the most that we're able to charge uh, with that to sell that many units. So just follow that over here. And that is 60, whatever the, in this case, it's dollars. So 60 is that one. How many units will it produce to maximize total profit? So it's really saying what is the profit maximizing output? You'll see it that way. And that is the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So you'll see that on a lot of these graphs. Uh, just follow where the marginal cost curve is down to where it hits marginal revenue. Or if you'd rather, start with marginal revenue and follow it to where it hits marginal cost. So the units here is 40, because it's asking about that. Okay, but it's not asking for the price, but if it asks for the profit maximizing price, follow that up to where it hits the demand curve, and that would be 70, okay? What would be the socially optimal price as set by market demand? Okay, so socially optimal is gonna be where uh, demand equals marginal cost. So you follow that right there. Uh, that's going to be 50. 50 would be the uh, socially optimal. The, the total revenue at the profit maximizing price and output. So we know that the output is 40. The price, uh, like I just said, we follow that up to here. That's 70. Uh, total revenue is a formula you need to memorize for the exam. Total revenue is just price times quantity and when i say memorize it it's really memorizing how much money did you make right so how many units did you sell and what price did you sell them at so this was 70 and this was uh, 40 rather sorry so it's just i can do that one without a calculator uh it's just 2800 2800 is the total revenue okay if government regulation required this firm to produce 60 units, would it still earn a profit? So let's go to 60 units. What's the price we can sell it at? We could sell it at 50. Okay. And, oh, it said 60, sorry. Uh, 60 units right here. Uh, and we would sell the price at 50. And then we want to follow that down to where it hits the average total cost. So it hits the average total cost at just over 30. So we would make a profit. You will make a profit the explanation as long as price is higher than average total cost which it is uh if you wanted to work out the actual amount you could but all you have to really say is that the price is higher than the average total cost so then you are making a profit and that's how to take apart that question